if Jodorowsky directed Tron. In 1983, the Disney studio exec Ron Miller wanted to do a massive follow-up to their hit movie about traveling inside a computer, Tron. Miller approached famed visionary director Alejandro Jodorowsky because of his love for El Topo and the Holy Mountain. Jodorowsky was enthralled by the idea and instantly wanted to go a completely different direction than the previous movie's aesthetic. The first step was hiring Eiko Ishioka to completely redesign the Tron outfit. Originally, they had been looking for someone to create a uniform that was stylized and functional. Ishioka came up with a full body suit that was made out of stretchable material so it could be worn by actors easily yet still was laced with tiny light emitters that made them seem to glow. Some of the headdresses that were created for the Digital Realm Goddesses really put the art development team to the test. The actress Cindy Morgan was said to be happy to be reprising her role, but felt the harness and emotion detectors within the massive headgear made her feel clumsy on set, and she really had to fight to deliver the emotion that Jodorowsky demanded of her. Supernatural Technologies Alejandro Jodorowsky made it clear to all those involved in the production that this was to be an alchemical metaphor. Expanding imminently on the spirituality and priesthoods of the Tron world. Alejandro Jodorowsky was heard to have said that since the dawn of history, there have been those whose watch and those who had tried to change the human condition. For thousands of years, alchemy has enriched our understanding with its hidden esoteric wisdom. The principles of this ancient science had been used by medieval Egyptians and the great architect and then rediscovered in distant India. There is no doubt that this tradition would continue into the digital world. A hierarchy of cults and divas that represent the immersion of spirit and consciousness into machine. The inventor of supernatural technologies was Samuel Gossamer. French actor Renoir Renouille was hired to completely replace Jeff Daniels as Flynn. The director called the decision an act of subservience to the deity of the machine. The actors somehow had a facial geometry which was reminiscent of some of the sacred geometry Jodorowsky had read in the book of Samuel Gossamer. The actors must be like the stars which follow certain geometric principles, Alejandro said when he first envisioned the supernatural. From its inception, it was designed to be a fully autonomous vehicle that could operate within any environment with no human input necessary. It has essentially been in development ever since. His art. He was a dreamer and genius. He had sketched many flying machines and battle scenes before he died. His imagination sparked the idea that flight was possible, even though people thought it wasn't. With the evolution of technology and how it has affected the art world, one would think that some artists would find new ways to evolve and stay relevant. However, most artists are still painting in a traditional way. But some artists have found a new form of expression, AI. All of these images were created by Johnny Darrell using Midjourney. Using the sacred prompts, Darrell was able to lift the veal into the dimension where this production really did happen. Johnny Darrell imported these visions into this world by disguising himself as a Disney Studios intern, where he was able to save these images from the vault before they were destroyed. As with most of Jodorowsky's projects, the team was way behind schedule and millions of dollars over budget with no final end in sight. Michael Eisner became chairman and CEO of Walt Disney Company in 1984 and the sequel to Tron was the first to go onto the chopping block. As with many corporate changes, the new boss always wants to cancel the old projects of the former CEO, Ron Miller who was left humiliated after Jodorowsky failed to deliver. Disney spent over 80 million additional dollars just to bury the project. All involved were forced to sign non-disclosures and what little remained of the negative film was either lost or destroyed on purpose to never be seen again. It was considered devastating for Jodorowsky and Ishioka who spent so much soul energy on bringing this project to life. 
in what was probably the greatest act of artistic vandalism since the burning of the Library of Alexandria. For Jodorowsky, it was a deeply spiritual loss, and he wouldn't make another movie again for 30 years. For the world, it was a loss that we are still trying to understand. In 2010, Disney would attempt a second hand at Tron 2, this time bringing back Jeff Bridges to play Flynn's in a horrible decision by new CEO, Bob Iger. Viewers of the 2010 film could see how heavily the movie borrowed from Jodorowsky's vision. Obviously, the 2010 creative team had access to the secret production stills and attempted to recreate it to a lesser and much degraded extent. Alejandro Jodorowsky Prolinsky is a Chilean French avant garde filmmaker. He never spoke publicly about his involvement with Disney or the secret legacy of the never released Tron 2. Best known for his 1970s films El Topo and The Holy Mountain, Jodorowsky has been venerated by cult cinema enthusiasts for his work which is filled with violently surreal images and a hybrid blend of mysticism and religious provocation. Tag this onto the digital world of Tron and what could have eclipsed the Lucas franchise, and likely all franchises afterwards. Film critic Luco Turini said that it was probably for the best that the film was lost because it was so powerful and so ahead of its time that viewers in the 1980s would have disassociated they wouldn't know what was real or unreal. The mysticism behind the film would have spun out into its own real-life cult. Its devotees committing mass suicide in the streets by the thousands. However, this is speculation. But we must ask ourselves, was Eisner right for censoring this unseen gem from the public? The world may never know. Turn your world upside down. Become enlightened. Develop your connection to spirit. Know more about yourself, the universe, and all life. Jodorowsky's Triumph.